hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Chat. So, there's some things I have to address. Probably a lot of people are going to ask me. A lot of people are going to ask me what's up with the, uh, with the, you know. What's going on with the, you know. What's going on with the, you know. Hold on, I gotta make sure that. Uh, wait. The ping headphones. Listen, right before starting my stream, my fucking headphones broke. My headphones fucking broke, and now I'm stuck with this thing. Uh, these were the only ones I had in backup. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. These are the only ones I had in backup. How's everyone doing? How is everyone doing today, though? I hope everyone's doing very well. I... Servers go down in 30 fucking minutes. Are you kidding me? What the fuck am I playing? Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're still, we're still talking. We're still talking. Chat, how is everyone doing today? <laughs> It's my first stream back ever since I, I did my lore thing, uh, ever since I did lore, which is, uh, it's, I have so much to talk about. Holy shit. I have a lot, a lot to talk about, uh, regarding the lore stream, which is pretty cool, but also, you know, we, I, 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 I want to talk about it. Essentially. I do want to talk about it. Uh, give you guys a little in, insight on, on everything. Uh, but uh, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are do are doing are doing absolutely well. Again, it's it's a late night stream. It's gonna be more relaxed, more chilled, you know. But anyways, chat. Listen, that um the lore stream was big, but what's gonna come these upcoming days is gonna be even bigger. I know, I know, I know. It's quite crazy it's quite crazy but i have something in store for you guys which is really cool it's all been a lot because i've been having to do all this um through um i don't i don't know why i played that um it, it's all been through finals i've been doing finals thank you tara 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 thank you so much for the, for the 25 gifted chat listen i have been busy i've been a busy boy all right, I've been working a lot in, on a, on a bunch of things. Uh, more specifically, uh, you know the lore stuff. These past few weeks have been incredibly, incredibly stressful. Um, but it's been great. It's been great. You guys have no idea how much work went into the lore stream. Like genuinely, so much work went into a lore stream. It was a lore. It was a merch drop. Which, by the way, thank you guys so fucking much. <laughs> you guys absolutely showed so much love on the merch drop and i and i couldn't be more thankful thank you guys so much um it's it's uh it's still up for 48 hours. actually i don't know how many hours so yeah like two days it's going out of sale on sunday so if you guys want to get a uh, merch make sure to do it soon it's going out of sale forever um so so keep that in mind quackity.shop if you guys want to if you guys want to get some of the merch Anyways, chat, listen, uh, so it was a lot of work, the whole lore stream, so much work. I'm talking literally for several, several weeks, um, literally when I, so I've been working on this project kind of like a little bit on and off, you know, while I'm working on other things. Um, uh, I've been working on the lore projects on and off for a while, for a few months, uh, but three weeks, I gave myself three weeks to work on this as hard as I could. So I'm talking like I was waking up at 10 in the morning, going to sleep at around five in the morning. Literally all those hours, I would not go outside. I would stay inside and work on Lord. Literally, that's all I would do the entire time is is from 10 in the, 10 a.m. to 5 a.m. Just keep working and keep working on Lord. Uh, and that was for like three weeks straight every single day not a day off no weekends I was full concentration mode on this. I wanted to finish this I wanted to get this done the best way I could and it paid off it really did I think I think the seeing the feedback that you guys had on the lore was fucking amazing and it's really interesting because when you work that much on a project your reality becomes that project but you're looking at it so much that you don't realize what you're creating and that was for me 
it came to a point where I was working on it so much, I, I would look at it, and because I would look at it so much, and because I'd, I'd constantly be, be seeing it, I would see it, and I'd be like, huh, this isn't, this isn't as good as I thought it would be. This isn't as good as, like, I would see the same scenes over and over and over again, and I would be like, yeah, no, this isn't, uh, I don't, I don't like how this turned out, I, d I don't, I don't like this, I don't like that. Uh, you know, because again, you see it so many times, you lose a, a real perspective on reality. So when I went live, I was shaking the entire time. When when the lore stream was going on, I was shaking the entire time, like like literally shaking because I was so nervous. And what I like about these lore streams, I am so that was so inappropriate. That placement of the song was incredibly inappropriate. I am. It sounds like I'm about to tell a funny fucking story. No, this is not a... Anyways. Anyways. So, when the stream goes live, I'm just, like, entirely shaking. I'm so nervous uh, to see what people are going to think, what people are going to say. Um, but it just ended so very well. It just ended so very well. And, I, and I'm so proud of, of, of everything I did in terms of the lore stream and i think i think that's my objective each time i do lore streams i'm just trying to top you know i i'm just trying to one-up myself you know i'm just trying to one-up myself with everything i do and to see everyone's like reaction to it was it, it was so cool it was really really nice to see and i appreciate it i genuinely do appreciate it a bunch um after finishing my lore stream i just went and started a final Listen, there's so many things to the creative process of a lore stream like that. Um, it just it just drains you mentally. It really just drains you mentally. But I was I was pulling through it. I really liked it. It was really cool. And when I when I went live with the lore stream, it's it was like I was watching it for the first time. I had worked on it. I knew what was gonna happen, but it was like it's like watching it for a first time. It's kind of like when a director makes a movie. And they're going to the premiere of their own movie. It, it feels like you're watching it for the first time. Not because you're watching it for the first time. But because you're watching it with thousands and thousands of people. That are watching it. For the first time. So you put yourself in the shoes of, of the people watching. And, and you're like holy shit. <laughs> Me personally I was like holy shit. I did all this. I made all this. And it's crazy. I... It was such a, it was such an, such a, an experience to be working on it and seeing it live. It was really cool. It was really cool. I really enjoyed it. It was very, very fun. Um, so, so I just genuinely want to give you guys a, a heart, a heart, very deep from my heart. Thank you for all the support for everyone who enjoyed it, for everyone who drew art, for everyone who just commented in the chat and was giving their opinion all throughout. It genuinely, it genuinely means, means the world to me to see so many people enjoy what I do. And, and like, I thank you for supporting the project. Thank you for supporting, like, the merch drop. The merch drop, you guys, holy shit. You guys, thank you so much. Um, it's kind of, it, 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 it's just been amazing. <laughs> it's just been amazing. So they say thank you guys so much. Can I can't wait for you guys to see the merch. It's on quackity.shop if you guys haven't bought yet. <laughs> Um, and if you want to get it, of course, it's at quackity.shop. We're closing the shop on Sunday and it's gone forever. But thank you guys so very much. Thank you. Princess Windy Bell for the $10. Uh, and the projects that are coming up are even more insane. So you guys, uh, you guys are gonna, gonna love what, what we're going to be doing here. So, uh, chat, I'm very, very, I'm very grateful for all the support. I'm very grateful for, for, for just everything the nice comments i was after my final i was just up all night reading the 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 nice comments you guys left reading everything you guys were saying i couldn't sleep that night i was running on the adrenaline of the entire day i hadn't slept for two days by the way uh some people saw this in my private those beach scenes at the end were filmed the same day of the lore stream so i stayed up all night working on it and making sure that i could get those scenes specifically at sunrise time and uh, I, I didn't sleep. And even that night, I couldn't really sleep. I was just reading like all the comments, all the nice messages, and it was it was just it was just very wholesome in general. And then 
I, I don't know. I, I, I felt it was a warm feeling in my heart. And, and I, and I hope I can replicate that so many times in the future again, where I work hard on a project, you guys enjoy it. And I can just be like, I did good. <laughs> I did good. I think, I think getting a little deep here, I don't have to get deep. Uh, it's going to sound corny, but I feel like these experiences really are what makes me feel human. You know, just leaving my little mark on what I do, you know, my content, everything, everything I work on, everything I do. It's, it's just kind of, it's what makes me feel human, right? Leaving that little mark and, and being like, I did something good and, and I, and I entertained a bunch of people and. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it just feels, it feels nice to me. It feels very good to me. It feels accomplishing and it gives me a purpose. You know, it's not, it's not really about, about the end result. It's also about what, what gives me purpose and, and, and knowing that I have a project like that going on and just working on it every day for as, for as, as much as I can, it, it, it really makes me feel really good, which, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I thought I should say that because I hadn't said much after the lore stream. Um, a lot of uh, some people, I saw some people think like, oh, Quackity is like overhyping it or whatever. I did not overhype that shit. Like they, they were saying this before the stream came out. They were saying this before the stream came out. They were like, oh, he's overhyping it. And then I'm like, when it came out, it's like, I was like, I did not overhype that shit. That shit was, was so good. Um... But yeah, that's, that's like, that's really, really what happened. And, and it makes me feel happy to think about that. So thank you guys so very much for watching that. And, and yeah, I feel like it's, it's those pieces of content that is everlasting in the, in the lives of people who watch it. And that's what I really enjoy. And I really like it. So you guys, you guys remember that for a while. It's really, it's really, it's really nice. <laughs> it's really nice uh but yeah it was it was a whole process uh i worked on it so many days uh i was running on nothing but monsters and subway that's it <laughs> i had no time to do anything but the project uh i only went outside maybe like a couple of times in those in those weeks and and it was literally just to take like a one hour drive so the entire time i was inside working on it and the only times I went outside was to like drive a little and just, you know, sometimes I needed that little kind of like break. Uh, but yeah, dude, it was, it was, it was a lot of work. Like, wait, Toontown will be closing for maintenance in 20 minutes. I don't care anymore. Do I care? I don't, I don't know if I care anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should change the, uh, the thing to, from just chatting to, I mean, Toontown line to just chatting. How do I, I'm just going to switch that. Uh, Hopefully it goes back up like a little later, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, oops, wrong channel. Here it is. Just chatting. But yeah, guys, I have been busy and now I have finals. And because of finals, I am working on school of finals. It's been a, it's been a big Big thing. Uh, I've been doing really well on my finals, though. Fortunately, I generally thought I might have, I might have like done a little worse this time around because of all the work that piled up. But I've been doing well. I've been doing very well for myself, and I feel very, very glad. Very glad that I've been doing so well. Um, yeah, it's just been crazy, crazy weeks. A hundred percent the highlight of my year, that's for sure. It's been very fun. Uh, let's see. Let me read some of the donations. Interfail to amaze us. We're so proud. Of Thank you. Thank you so much, Jackie, <laughs> for the donation. Appreciate it. This is your legacy. That's true. That's true. This is the legacy I'm leaving. Holy shit. I like foreshadowed myself. IRL. Is that like breaking the fourth wall? I don't know if it is. Um, uh, I got your beanie and I'm so excited. We can tell how much love and effort you put into your stream and merch. Oh, it was so great. It was so great. Oh my, it was, dude, oh, the process is so draining. It really is. The process of like working on this is so incredibly draining, but it's so fun. It's so fucking fun. Um, thank you for all the, for all the very kind donations. I appreciate it. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. 
Um, how do you handle moments where life? Oh wait, this was from 12 days ago. How do you handle moments? Dude, there was moments when I was working on this where, where everything did feel out of my control. Did you guys know I finished rendering uh, everything five minutes before the actual stream started? So the stream started at one. I was I finished everything up at like 1256. So 1256, I had finished rendering everything and I still made it on time. I still made it on fucking time, which is crazy. Me making it on time. I, I really did. I did. I did make it on time. It's fucking insane. Um. Yeah, like, uh, it, it, dude, I had everything finished. There was one rendering mistake throughout the entire stream that I'm not going to say now, but it, it bothered me a little bit. But I was like, shit, I don't have time to fix that, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was like, that's like, that was a little stressful to deal with, but it was, it was, it was great. It was fun. I liked, uh, Oh my gosh, just, I took so many pictures of, like, everything that was going on. Like, look at this. Like, that day, Quackity was trending with, like, 225,000 tweets. How the fuck? How the fuck? That is crazy to me. Even, even the day where I told you guys to, to, like, tweet out Cedar Rapids, that got to, like, 130k tweets. And that was, like, me telling you guys to. Like, here, it was, like, holy shit. Fucking crazy. Absolutely bongers dude it was it was insane um yeah no i just i just i took pictures of a lot of things uh i'm trying to find them maybe i didn't save them um oh yeah this oh this is crazy oh man i i, I think i have it in my other in my dashboard here let me check um there's a stream something dude this is fucking crazy this is fucking insane. And I need you guys to see this. Look, I still can't believe this is real. I still can't believe this is real. You know, for the long... Dude, oh my gosh. Max view... 396,000 on fucking Twitch. That is insane. That is crazy to me. Fucking 400,000 of you were watching at one point. And th that is crazy to me. That is fucking insane. <laughs> that is so crazy. I was I was just so surprised when I saw that. I remember this time around, I wasn't... In terms of views, I didn't expect much because... Uh, I was really worried because a lot of people were... It's like it's like finals week for a lot of people. It's still finals, right? Like it was final we finals week for me... A lot of people are doing finals. A lot of people are in school. So, so my expectations for the stream was around, and I'm not joking. Like my expectations were like, okay, like I think I can make it past like a 180k views, which that in itself is fucking insane. Um, but you know, like the past lore streams, I had gotten like, like around 350, 330, and I was like, there's no shot I'm hitting that again. And then it just kept going up and up and up. And I'm like, what the hell, dude? That's crazy. I think the most important part to me was creating an engaging story. Um, you know, to keep that many people around and for like more up and up and up and up. It, it's, it's, it's difficult. It's not easy, right? It's not very easy. Uh, so to have created an engaging story and have people stay and have even more people join and join. It's just, it's just so, it was so cool. Uh, I remember figuring out like the slimesicle stuff. I was, dude, when I was editing the slimesicle scenes, I, I was feeling like a little emotional. Um, not in the exact scenes where I was editing. Well, yeah, like when I was editing it, it was like, it's like, holy shit, this is, this is fucked. <laughs> this is like, fuck. <laughs> But like, I think it was more in the part where I came up with the idea. I I just sat there because the creative process is a pro the, you guys like creative process isn't like typing out a shit ton of things on word and like being like, okay, blah, 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 like this, blah, 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 like, a, no, it's just sitting here and being like this. That's my creative process. That is quite literally my creative process right um it's just sitting there and, and thinking um so when i was thinking when i was thinking about the slimesicle scene 
and how I was going to do it, I was just sitting there like this, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh man, I was, and the way I got inspiration for it was just like listening to Mice on Venus, uh, which all you may know is a very, very sad song, right? Like it's a very, it's a very hard hitting song, probably because of all the nostalgic factor behind it. Uh, here, uh, I was listening to like, like, it's just so sad. My song Venus is like so fucking sad and for no reason at all. For, it's Minecraft. It's a bunch of blocks. Why would you make it so sad? Anyways, props to, to C418. Like, look at, listen to this. Holy shit. I was just like thinking. I was I was just like sitting there thinking. I was like, fuck. I was like, do I like this is fucked. <laughs> and I was just and I was just sitting there and like and like and like thinking of how that scene was gonna go. And I was like, shit. I was like, shit, that is just man. Um so yeah, that was like a very like a pretty emotional scene to work on. And 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 it's crazy because it's Minecraft, right? You wouldn't think a block game like this would would make you sad or or make you feel this type of way, but it's so damn, I don't know. I don't know. It's I feel like it's the emotion you put behind it. I feel like also that's why I love my projects, my own projects so much is because I I know I put a lot of emotion and passion into it. And I and I know if I if I transfer that onto the content, I know that people will feel the same when they watch it. So it was really, really, really cool to to do and just and just work on. Um, and it and it's so great to see like you guys returning that love. It's just oh my gosh, so nice, so so nice. The editing file for the entire thing is just so incredibly long uh, of a process. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Um, let me see. Great, I can't access my own files because my Sony Vegas ended the trial. Okay. That's fine. I don't care. Let me see if I can find some images. Hmm. <laughs> Image under okay. Open file location. Ooh, never mind. These are not the file locations I was looking for. Um, it's always so fun to post like the like the teaser promotionals. You guys want to know? I don't even know if I should show this, but I had a very specific vision on how I wanted the uh, the slime sickle purple scene to go on. I don't know if I should. Should I share this? It's part of the creative process, so I'm gonna share it. I drew this. I drew this. Um, a lot of people don't know this like artistic side of me, so this is gonna be like really a really heartfelt moment to share. Uh <laughs> so this is like this is like what I came up with when I was working on my shit. I was like, I was like, a scene like this would be really cool. I was like, a scene like this would be really, really sick if we could, if we could like pull this off. I really wanted to pull this off. And it kind of went like I envisioned and kind of like how I wanted the uh, whole setting to look like. It's like, oh, you fall into like a platform and there's just like lava underneath. So cool. And now that we're talking about Las Nevadas, I think I have some Las Nevadas, um, like promotional stuff, not promotional stuff, but like I have a, where is it? Oh man, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. I want to find it though. I want to find it. Um, oh, this is a scene posted on the, on the, uh, Quackity merch Twitter where the box was just like floating away. That wasn't supposed to happen. The box just started floating away in the, in the sea. And I was like, oh shit. I probably need to get that. I probably need to grab that box, which is funny. Um, so that, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, let's see what else I have. Um, 
I don't know why I have a picture of this, but it's it's very sad. I just have a picture of this. This is fucked up. This is close your eyes, please close your fucking. What is Comanche? Comanche is here. Mula, mula Comanche. <laughs> um. Oh, I have this really like pretty uh screenshot of Lamanberg. I like the shadows and like the sunlight passing through it and everything. It's really nice. Very nice. Very much like it. Let me... I'm trying to find like some of the old like La Cevada stuff that I had, but I don't... I don't think I have it with me. Let me check. Uh, I have a file, a folder called lore, but no lore is in there. Lore stream, nothing is in there either. Man, I just don't have anything. What the hell? Where did, where did all my files go? Did I just, like, lose all my fucking files? Uh, I think I lost all my fucking files. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um. Oh, yeah. This as well? Holy shit. I will not, uh, I will not elaborate on that. So don't ask. <laughs> um, let me see, let me see. Let me see if I have any more like cool kind of like files of of the of the whole project. I have a Vegas file, Las Nevadas dot Vegas. Oh shit, no, I can't. I literally cannot start it. Las Nevadas. Las there we go. Let's see if I can open it and I can see where my files are there. Um Yeah, but holy shit, this is uh a lot of work went into this. A lot of fucking work. But, and I'm just, and I'm just really happy you guys, you guys enjoyed it. Let's see what else I have here. Let me see if I have, if I have anything else. Oh, remember the tweet that was making me laugh the other day? You know, when Big Bird got vaccinated and, and it was like media, there was so much media attention on Big Bird getting vaccinated. And then Grover comes out with this, like, with this, with his, like, never, I don't, I don't even have the image. Where the fuck is the image? Oh, here, the image is right here. Let me show it to you guys. I, I didn't have the image at the moment. Uh, but now I do. Now I have it. And you guys are going to have to see it with me. Where is it? Holy shit. Grover, that's fucked up. That is fucked up, Grover. I can't believe Grover fucking tweeted that shit. What the fuck is wrong with that guy? What the fuck is wrong with that guy, eh? What the fuck is wrong with that guy? Anyways. Um... Oh man, where's my? Oh my gosh, I want to find my Las Nevadas stuff, but I can't access my Vegas file. How can I not access my own fucking Vegas file? Um, yeah, but but anyways, chat. A little bit enough of lore. What was uh? What was your guys's favorite part? I sound like Dora right now, but I genuinely want to know what what is your guys's uh favorite part of the whole lore stream? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um. I want to know what your guys' favorite parts were. The lessons? Oh my gosh. Most stressful fucking... Oh, most stressful fucking part of the lore is editing the lessons. So stressful. I was literally working like almost two days on each lesson. Just because of the filming, the, the writing, and the... I had to fig... The biggest... The biggest... Um, So, I talked about it with Charlie and I'm like... I want to do this like one to two minute scene where we go through like a bunch of like it, it spans through weeks where I'm just teaching slime all these different lessons on how to be on how to how do you how to how to grow a solid structure of just being strong and whatever. And I was like and I was like, yeah, it's going to be like a one to two minute scene where I'm just like teaching you like everything and like, it, yeah, it's going to go quick. It's going to be like a montage scene you see in the movies. And then one thing led to another. We were filming uh, the uh, lines for it. And I was like, holy fucking shit. How am I going to cram this into one or two minutes? It ended up being like, I think it was like 10, 15 minutes total of that entire part. Which was insane. It was so crazy. But I think I, I, re I, I, I didn't know how I wanted to represent that scene. And I ended up doing it in a way that I really, really liked. And uh, apparently a lot of people liked it too. So I managed to do what was correct. 
which is the thing that matters most to me is doing the right thing there uh it was scary don't like don't get me it's so scary to work on shit like that because you don't know whether it's just you and and your creative thought process you know it's it's just you and your creative thought process crazy crazy things very crazy things <gasps> i have old i have old lore i have old lore um uh assets i don't know if you guys want to see the lore the old lore assets i have some of them which is really cool let me see oh this is really nice this is really cool kind of what the fuck why did i move myself how did i move myself how the fuck did that even happen uh, let's see. Uh, a lot of the music as well. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm just like always trying to... What is this song? Oh, I like this song. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the old lore assets. Uh, you remember this one? Ooh, chapter one. I think this is from the first lore stream. Uh, oh. what? Still one of the most... Uh, it's it's up with the slime sickle scene, one of the most heartbreaking scenes I've had to film, for sure. Very this one this 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 scene is badass. This scene is badass, dude. It's so fucking badass. I'm just like covered with blood, and then so this is a scene. This is a frame right before I bring out like the briefcase with all like the casino ch chips and stuff. Like slam it on the on the table. That's why I have that saved. Uh, let me see if I have any more assets. That's gonna be really embarrassing if a. Oh yeah, the original picture. The original picture. Actually, I don't even know if this is the original. It might just. It's. It looks a little low quality. It might just be like. Holy shit, chat! How far we've come. This is from the very first lore stream. This is from the very first lore stream. So you guys might not realize how significant, like, it's so easy to be like, oh, the, the lore, the, the lore shop or whatever, right? Like, it's, it's cool or, or whatever. But you guys, I've been trying to make this happen for months now, almost a year. So you guys might realize how significant having, being able to release this is to me. <laughs> <laughs> like having it as a physical item is so it's such a cool feeling it's such a fucking cool feeling so this is where i started and this is where we're at now a physical item you can fucking buy so it's just it just it's so significant i love it i fucking love it how far we've come chat how far we've come oh my gosh oh that's so cool. That's so cool. Um, let me see what other assets I have of uh, Lost of Otis. I have some. Oh, I have some concept art of Lost of Otis. Um, so I have some of that, right? I think I have it. I have it. So you guys want to see the original Lost of Otis plan for like for like some of like the Lost of Otis plan? I I so the Lost of Otis structure i designed it obviously i didn't go into like i didn't build like the little details of it or whatever oh holy shit carl raid from tiktok yes <laughs> hello carl raiders from tiktok <laughs> hello welcome i am talking about law <laughs> so guys listen if you have a dream and you want to make it come reality uh, become have it make it become reality you don't have to be all this like you don't have to be like really skillful. You guys want to see how I how I how I designed Lost of Otis? Check this out. God, this feels like ages ago. So the casino would be in the in the middle. My needle condo would be in the back. There would be walls surrounding uh Lost of Otis. The restaurant would be on the side, a club would be on the side palm trees and the welcome sign would be in the middle uh, the entrance would be very very straightforward small door that leads holes into shady areas i really want to have like shady like like the beat up parts of town basically uh this is 
This is uh, this is some first never before seen footage of how I wanted to plan Los Avados. So it's not complex. You just need to have an idea. And that's a cool thing about all this is it all this is born with an idea. So that's that's really nice. I like that. Um, what else do I have here? I'm pretty sure I have more assets. So there's another asset I have, which I want to make it become a reality. So I'm not going to show it because this is something I still want to do. Uh, let's see what other what other stuff do I have here? <laughs> Damn, these are from like ages ago. These are from just ages ago, dude. This is crazy. Oh, uh, my first scene with like bad. This is the first reveal of Las Avadas. Nothing but the casino was built at that point. Nothing but the casino was built at that point. And this was one of the first scenes with, with Las Avadas. I don't remember exactly why I gave my character uh, a mask. But by that point, my character had already the uh, scar in his face, which is funny. Oh, and here's this picture of Carl. Is it a GIF file? Oh, never mind. I can't. I can't show it because it's a. GIF. I can't drag it in. Never mind. I'll just take a screenshot of it. And this is uh. And this is a picture of Carl. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Carl, my beloved, my beloved Carl. <laughs> there we have that. Uh, what else? What else do I have? I surely must have other assets. Um, surely there's got to be other Los Avadas assets around here. Oh my gosh. I have a thing here, which I can show you. I don't know if I should show you guys. Should I show you guys? I don't know if I should show you guys. Because I still want to do it. But let me see if I have... If it's anything significant. It would be cool if it were, if it were like complete. Let me see. Oh, but it has no... Oh, never mind. It has no, uh, no text on it. It looks cooler with the text on it. Never mind. It, it, this won't work because uh, it doesn't have the text on it. Um. Oh, at one point, at one point indeed, uh, I was trying to come up with a uh, flag designs for Los Avadas. I have this file called Potential Flag. But it's, it looked like very Star Wars to me. So I had two versions of my flag. I don't think there's ever been like an official... There's like a fan-made flag. Uh, this is really rough, by the way. This is like super rough. Uh, this isn't... This is by no means in the realm of good. Uh, but I liked it. So they do not consider this an official flag because it's something I still would like to work a little bit on. So don't consider this like an official flag. Uh, I made something like this. But this looked like way too Star Wars to me. Like I said, it's not any, any good, but it's kind of like stuff I was coming up with. Uh, this was like the white version and the red version. Uh, just, just, it's not, I, again, it's not good, but uh, it's, it's stuff that I wanted to be like working on. Really cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Yes. Let me see if I have any other assets of Los Nevadas. Damn, there's just so much. There is just so much here. Actually, no, there isn't. There isn't. I'm actually running out of assets to show you guys. Uh... This is, this is all like this is all from like a long time ago which is which is quite quite funny um holy shit
There's like old trending tab descriptions that I took pictures of. Like this one. I don't even remember the context of this one. Fans are losing it after content creator Quackity referred to Vans old school sneakers as those Nike shoes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fans react to Quackity's latest just chatting stream where the content creator did everything from claiming he was going to be part of TikTok hospital soap opera to defending his fashion choices. That sounds like me. That sounds like me. <laughs> Hashtag happy birthday, Quackity. Quackity was born in December. <laughs> but a tweet from the streamer to replace Valentine's Day with his birthday has prompted fans to wish him a happy birthday all the same. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy shit. Damn. This is from so long ago. All these pictures. Funny drawing game. Bardic mode and like. <laughs> just everyone leaving the group. And I'm just like in there alone. Wow. I don't only have lots of Odyssey assets. I also have like. Old stuff. Like super old stuff. Dream went dark. Content creator Dream goes dark after many viewers said he took a severe loss by fellow creator Quackity's diss song, Where Are the Askers? Oh my god! Where are the Askers? Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. That is... Aw. I don't, I don't... This has no description, but it's cute. Thank you, Quackity. Aw. I don't even know what that's for. <laughs> wow. There's just so much, so many things. <laughs> wow, this is fucking crazy. This is crazy. I have so much, so many like old pictures. It's Isn't it crazy how this was like about a year ago, but it all still feels so, so like long ago. Just so much has happened, I think. I think so much has happened that it's easy to get caught up in the fact that so much has happened. So it feels like a long time ago, but I don't know. Usually I'd be, I'd be sad, right? I feel like nostalgia generally makes you sad. But for me, I, that same, the way I describe it for me myself is all that joy I felt in those moments and those like times, I still feel them. Not with the same situations, but just in life in general. And I feel like that's a big difference between me now and me then. Is that back then, I would only find like those moments would make me joyful. But I feel like it's become that joy has become such a part of my life that I feel joyful about it just about always you know it's kind of it's kind of like my my i guess my life philosophy has changed to a point where instead of longing for what there used to be i enjoy the present a lot i enjoy the present a lot more than having to figure out oh what's gonna happen later what's gonna happen like in the future to me it's really it's it's i'm enjoying the moment now so I look back at these moments as I feel like I like those were good moments and I and I and I'm so like grateful for them and I'm just so excited as to what's to come in the future. I, that's the way I see it. I feel like a lot of people really purpose nostalgia in a way that's not good. You know, they, they feel like they look at the past with very with a lot of. 
I feel like I feel this is this is so corny because I'm speaking on, on it with like the song in the background, which is like such an epic song, but holy shit. But I feel like a lot of people purpose nostalgia in a way that's not healthy. They 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 look they look to the past. They look to the past in a way where it's like, I wish I was there again. Rather than looking at the present and being like, how can I make my present just as joyful? And I feel like that's why how I have repurposed nostalgia and how I've repurposed uh, the way I look at the past, you know? So I don't know. Take what you will from that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm continuing the song because I'm not going to say any sad shit anymore. Uh, actually, it's not sad. It's, it's good. Um, I'm going to keep showing you guys like, <laughs> like the, the things that were trending back then. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Baseball, Dick Callahan. <laughs> um, let me see. Holy shit. This feels like ages ago. I told bad to take this picture. I told him bad. Just, just take this picture. I want to post it. This is me inside of Skeppy's like cage. Ah, uh, what else do I have here? Do I have anything else? Do I have anything else? I have a few things. I think I have a few things. Com Comanche! Thank you. Uh, did I miss something? Oh my gosh, I don't even think I have the uh the bits thing on. What the hell? What did you say? What did he say? I don't know what he said. Let me see. Uh, uh, event filters. Okay, I see it now, I think. No estés triste, te quiero, bro. <laughs> no soy triste, no soy triste. No estoy triste. No, 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 no. Pura, pura felicidad, puro feliz aquí. Aquí nadie se pone triste. Triste porque no te vi ahí, sí, bien triste, la neta. Pero ni modo. Ya vendrá nuestro momento. Vente a jugar, huevo. <laughs> ¿A dónde o qué? No, me, tengo que dormir, tengo que dormir. Perdóname. Ya, ya voy a terminar la transmisión. Amo, amo, vamos a vernos pronto. Nos podemos ver. All right, chat. Let's see. I have more stuff here. Okay, well, there's nothing funny about this. There's nothing, absolutely nothing funny about this. There's absolutely nothing funny about this, but whatever. I don't know why I had it saved. Why did I have it saved? I don't understand. Oh, this is a picture of Bad when he took it with his, like, dog. She gave me muffin. Okay. I had not read the, uh... The caption. Fair enough. <laughs> That's not real. Bad Boy Hill did not write that, or did he? We don't know. We don't know. We'll never. We'll never know. Oh my God. Remember when I was working on the Dream Disc track? And he said he was gonna retaliate, he was gonna like clap back. And these were like the lines he showed us. We act so so we actually split the money, so your bars just went away. That was uh that was about uh when when I roasted him for losing to Technoblade on that 1v1. And then he said, made more money losing than you make any day. <laughs> And then we just, I remember when he showed us those lines, we just completely roasted the shit out of them. We're like, we're like, shut the fuck up. And then we just repurposed the lines. <laughs> that was so funny. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so fucking funny. Holy shit. Uh, let me see. I think that's most of what I have. Oh, the infamous picture. The infamous picture. This picture is just fucking, oh my god. And every, it's so good. Nothing beats this picture. It's so fucking good. <laughs> uh, And I think that's it. As of... 
no fudging way. I found more lore assets. <gasps> no fudging way. I found more lore assets. Well, I didn't even know I had these. Wow. These were signs I made before Las Nevadas was ever even built. I was trying to show people how I wanted signs for Las Nevadas. It was before I called it Las Nevadas. I was going to call it uh, Las Vegas, and then I wasn't going to call it that. It was like a placeholder name before I figured out like a name for it. So <laughs> I made like green signs for it. And everything. I did these. I made these. And you can tell that I made these because I made these signs. This is so cool. This is so cool. Badlands. Prime Path. Wow. That is really, really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. So true. I still have that as my fucking thing, I think. As my private uh, profile picture. See guys, this this whole lore thing, it looks so silly from, from like an outside perspective, but I put so many hours into creating a really cool story and I'm and I'm so fucking proud of like how long it's it's come. So crazy. This is old. Oh shit, that didn't even show. Never mind. I couldn't show that one. Um holy shit. This is crazy. <laughs> this is so insane. Let me see if I find any more, any more things. Open private. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Maybe, who knows? Who knows chat? No, I actually won't. Not tonight. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? No, I won't, but maybe. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> These... Oh my gosh. I'm just looking at a bunch of like old files here. Ooh. This one's... This one's cool. This file is cool. Oh, this looks cool. So, I don't know if I ever did this, but you guys want to see something cool? I never did this. It's I'm right. I never did this. I'm going to show you guys something sick. And I, I didn't do it. I didn't do this because... Because you couldn't tell that it was the same. So look at this. Actually, no, no, no. Look at this. Back before it was repurposed. Now look at this. I want you guys to focus on a certain... Someone said Ciudad de Mexico. <laughs> no, it's not. This is not Mexico City, for those who are wondering. Check this out. I want you guys to focus on the blocks here. Focus on the blocks here, okay? Otherwise, you won't be able to tell what I'm going to show you. Focus on the blocks here. Now look. Huh? Yep. 
That's cool, right? That's fucking awesome. So this is... Well, back in the day when I took this, this is the current version, old version. Current, old. This goes to show how much everything has changed. Oh my gosh. You guys better be loving me for this. This is, this, even I'm like, ho like, holy shit, this is really cool. Is this... No fucking way. It gets even better. It gets even better, chat. It gets even fucking better. Focus on the same blocks, chat. Focus on the same blocks again. Focus on the blocks over here. In fact, focus on this whole structure. Before disaster, after disaster. I was going to put these in a, in a lore stream. I was going to put those in a lore stream. The problem was that you could barely tell there was like, it was the same, but only in a different era. So I didn't. Wow, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. And I didn't have one uh, just for Lament. I had for so many more. I think I had for so many more, but the only ones I took pictures of was those ones. Holy shit. This one's epic. This one's epic. This one is fucking epic. <laughs> I wonder if I have any more lore stuff. I don't want to show too much, but all this is cool because it's like unused content. So it's never going to get used by me anyways. So I don't mind showing you guys. Let me see trying to find more things I'm trying to find more things chat Oh, so you guys saw what I did with like old version of it and past version of it. I think I was going to do that with this one. Never mind. I wasn't. No, 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 no. I lied. I lied. That's not it. That's not it. I think that's all I have to show for now. I think that's all I have to show. As of now, chat. I still have the old clips here, though. Oh my gosh, little throwback, little throwback. Let's hear it.
My lore is fucking awesome. That's all I'm gonna say. My lore is fucking dope. It's so good. How do I do it? How do I fucking do it? I just do. I just fucking do. I am a. I'm a. Holy shit. Oh my. I'm. Oh my god. How do I do it, chat? How do I do it? It's so fucking good. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, this one's cool. Uh, let me see. Let's see if I have anything else. <gasps> oh my gosh. That you're trying to protect your people. I get that. That's the part where I talk to Wilbur. Wilbur. That's so cool. What is this? No fucking way. So, oh my god. Oh my god. It's all coming to me. So. Do you guys just saw that those clips where I, those pictures where I showed you like old Lemanberg and new Lemanberg? Do you guys remember that? Do you guys remember that? That was I was I was doing trial and error because in the creative process you do so many things. That was part of error, right? I wanted to do it. That was part of like the error of the trial and error stuff. So I never ended up using it. So I was do I was working with a bunch of different concepts as to how I could do it to make it like that much more emotional. And this was like one of the test concepts. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, that that that's how that's how th that was like one of the tests I was doing, and I never ended up using it. Of course, that's crazy. Wow, I never I never ended up using it. Oh, is this this is a TNT explosion? Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Um, wow. Holy shit! You guys are getting fed. Tonight, that's fucking crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Techno will go out. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Last thing of the night. Last thing of the night. I fucking love this. Is oh, I love this intro so much. I love this intro so much. Please, oh my god, we gotta watch this again. We gotta watch this again. For those who never watched it, my old uh, Lord live streams, you guys gotta watch this. Oh my god. Masterpiece, I'm telling you. I'm fucking awesome. I'm sorry, I'm fucking awesome. Okay, okay, I'm so sorry. I had no idea it muted. Uh, that's why we have to play it all over again from the start. Just to show you guys how fucking cool I am. Okay, you guys aren't missing this shit. This is how cool I am. Check this out. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so fu Oh my fucking god, I'm so cool. I am so- Okay, guys, I'm fucking awesome.
let's start this hit list. Who's on the hit list? Dream and Technoblade. If we go after Dream first, we'll have government, and then Techno will go after us. So let's Dream. just let's just attack the problem from the goddamn root. Fucking shit. So, oh my god, I'm so fucking cool. Holy shit. So, what was amazing about that was it was the first time Lost of Otis had ever been shown. No one was allowed to even get close to that area or like show it on their streams. There was a few leaks, but that was the first time anyone actually properly, like everyone properly saw Lost Nevadas. Thank you for the subs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you guys want to support, go to quackity.shop. Shop is closing soon. <laughs> Chat. Oh my gosh. This is, oh, this is so cool. This is so fucking cool. I. Holy shit. This is fucking awesome. I actually love this. What is this? <gasps> Oh my gosh, that was my first intro ever. That's what really got people hooked. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I have anything else that's cool. I had this other thing that I wanted to show you guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. For those who don't know the slimesicle backstory, I feel like a lot of people like ignore, didn't ignore it, but they didn't really pay attention to this as much as they should have. Oh, is it? I don't know if this is Yeah, yeah, check it out, check it out. Slimesicle backstory. Welcome to the world of Dream SMP. Today, we are taking a look at a variation of species not many are knowledgeable about the slime. The slime is a primordial ooze that has roamed the lands for centuries. My bad Slimes are bouncy, cube shaped, hostile mobs that sometimes spawn in swamp biomes and, occasionally, deep underground in particular chunks. They seem insignificant at first, but pack a defense system that makes them no easy target to predators such as other mobs or even human beings. These slimes can often mate with each other and make slime children. Gross. But there is one thing many don't know about slimes. Slimes are morphing elements of the lands. Slimes can morph into just about anything you can think of. What about that dirt block? You may be surprised to find out that centuries ago, it was but a mere slime. Quite freaky. You will, however, be relieved to find out Some that the only fiber. way slimes can evolutionize into ordinary items around you is through arduous adaptation of their environment. So, before you go around asking yourself what around you is made of slime, don't. The last recorded detection of a slime morphing into anything that wasn't more slime was a birch plant in the middle of a desert biome. So, it's most likely nothing around you is made of slime. Unless... Unless... How do I do it? <laughs> I'm kidding. That was the dude. Oh. If that doesn't show you how fucking passionate I am about these projects, I don't know what will. I fucking love doing this shit. Oh my god. Oh, what a great blast from the past chat. Now it's time to look forward and keep doing bigger and greater things, chat. <laughs> yes! Chat. I think it ended up here. I think I will end it up here, chat. I want to thank you guys once again from the very bottom of my heart. Thank you for supporting everything I do. Thank you for allowing me to make this my job. That's fucking insane. 
that I can do this for a living. That is means the world to me. Uh, most importantly, I hope that some of the stuff I do can inspire hundreds, if not thousands of people out there and that the world can become a very creative space. At least, at least the people who watch me can become a little more creative. Thanks to me. <laughs> Chat, genuinely, thank you guys so much for all your support for everything. A uh, quick reminder, and I gotta, remi I gotta, I gotta do it, guys. Come on, I gotta do it. All right, I gotta do it because, because this is a big project for me. All right, <laughs> we're closing the shop on Sunday, so if you guys want to. Definitely go get yourself some Lost Nevadas merch. First theme drop project I am also very proud of. Where you can get these beanies. You can get these nice, comfortable beanies. Yes, chat. <sighs> Genuinely, thank you guys so much for everything and all the support and allowing me to be as creatively expressive as I can. I think that means a lot to me. And, and I know in the future, I'll look very fondly back on these moments and everything I did when I, when I was the age of 20. And I know I'll miss it a lot, but hopefully all the plans I have for the future can can overshadow everything I'm doing now just because I want to keep doing better and keep becoming a better person. And I only owe it to you guys for allowing to, to, for me to do this. So thank you guys very much. I very much appreciate it. I am going to sleep now. I am tired, but thank you guys again for everything. If you guys watch the stream, if you guys commented, if you guys chatted, if you guys bought merch, thank you so fucking much. Everything has been ages in progress. So to see it all turn out the way it did is just means the world to me. So thank you guys very, very much. Thank you for everything. I'll see you guys very soon. The upcoming projects are going to be just as cool and just as big. So keep a lookout. And yeah, merch shop closes on sunday so be sure to make merch as soon as you can because once it's gone it's gone forever we're bringing none of this back unfortunately but but yeah thank you guys so much for everything hope you guys have a wonderful night